Greetings, this is Earthman from EarthmanSoil.com. God bless you this day. I hope you're doing well, your family's well. Hang in there. God is in control, even though things look kind of weird out there, but God is in control. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, making some seed starter for your seeds. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can buy on the market that's seed starter, but, you know, there's something cool about making your own that, uh, you know, that is just, you know, being one with your garden, I guess you can say, you know, doing it the, uh, the right way, your way. Um, and this is how I do it. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get some good compost for your own, buy some from the market that's organic, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, really good compost, rich in humus, gas, you know, uh, organic matter, just rich, dark color. Um, and then you want, what you want to do, so well, half your mix is going to be compost. Now we go one eighth of your mix is going to be like a, a soil lightener, so, such as like rice hulls, perlite, vermiculite. My favorite is rice hulls because it's high in silica and has, has trace minerals. And I also inoculate it before I put it into the soil. Uh, one eighth is going to be some sort of worm castings or Alaskan hummus. You know, some nice rich, uh, you know, humic type stuff that's going to give richness and uh, natural humic acids and fulvic acids to your soil. Once again, with trace minerals and stuff. And then you want to go uh, some sort of like peat moss, cocoa core. You know, uh, lightens the soil and puts air and oxygen into the soil. The problem with those things is peat moss is acidic. And if you use too much of it, it could cause nutrient uptake problems. And then cocoa core is neutral, so that's pretty bad. That's actually a little bit better. But both both those before you use them, guys, make sure you use a um, a wetting agent such as yucca extract or Dr. Bronner's unscented baby soap or you know some sort of uh, um, aloe vera. You know, there's a lot of different stuff out there, but make sure you hit them with a wetting agent or when they dry after being wet, they'll repel water and it's a real pain. And then, you know, there's some other stuff you can put in there, you know, a little biochar that's been inoculated, um, some uh, hydro stones, whatever, like the making your own little uh, terra preta type stuff. And uh, as it pertains for the nutrients, keep it uh, simple, keep it light. I use oyster shell flour. I use a little kelp meal, I use a little alfalfa meal, and azonite, and then uh, there you go. And, and not a lot, just uh, in light amounts. The plant doesn't need much in the beginning. A lot of what it needs is going to be inside the seed itself to get it through the first two weeks or so. And so, um, and then I usually put some inoculant in there. I put my Grovana IMO3 that has a whole bunch of different... Um, um, you, know, you know, life in it, and, uh, and and that's important, guys, to inoculate your your plants right from the get go. That way, uh, that uh, symbolic r relationship between bacteria and root system will take place right off the bat. And a little seaweed extract it would be good too, like with the sea kelp. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned I put a little sea kelp in there, kelp meal, just because it's got trace minerals and it's got um, a lot of plant hormones such as cytokines and um, different things like that um, and so um, that's the mix I'll post it down below but uh, it's a nice rich mix uh, once again half that mix is going to be a nice rich compost your own or something you know some other organic type source uh, rice hulls perlite or vermiculite uh, one eighth of that mix should be that and uh, you know um, rice hulls my favorite it's got a lot of silica in it and other stuff um, and then one eighth worm casting um, and, or Alaskan hummus, uh, which gets more uh, humus to your soil and natural humic and fulvic acids and trace minerals um, that will help uh, develop strong plants and uptake of nutrients. Um, peat moss or cocoa core uh, to lighten and, and give air to soil. It helps with uh, you know, keeping moisture in the soil and uh, just helps the, the medium uh, basic structure overall. And make sure, you know, once again, you inoculate those. And then small amounts of kelp meal, oyster shell flour, alfalfa meal, so a little bit of azomite, and, um, and then some, uh, maybe an inoc you definitely gotta inoculate your soil. I use my own IMO3, I put it in there straight, but you can always make it a, a tea. Um, a compost tea, a worm tea, or, or order some of my stuff with biostimulants and stuff. 
Um, our company uh, stands proud behind all our biostimulants and um, all our inoculants. They're fresh. They're um, uh, you know just uh, top-notch stuff, guys. And uh, you can just look at results from my garden from years past, and you'll see amazing things. So um, that's it. May God bless you. I'll post this recipe as much as best I can down below. If you like this video, push like, subscribe to me, and check out my website. You know what I mean? Um, it's real stuff. I make it fresh. Um, I get it, uh, you know, I get it fresh. I mean, there's no old stuff that's been sitting on the shelf at the hydro store for the last seven months. It's, it's You order it fresh, boom, to your house with instructions, with ingredient list, um, and little uh, extra samples from time to time. And uh, I always, when I send out my stuff, I always, I always send out uh, a little pack of mycorrhizal because you know mycorrhizal mixed in it's not going to be effective it's going to be effective when you sprinkle it on the roots of your plant before you put it into the medium that you know it's going to be like the next medium up so when they're young yeah you want to inoculate them but uh, when they're like three weeks old and you're about to transplant them that's when you hit them with the mycorrhizal again and on the root system directly so that's it may god bless you this day i am so glad that you guys like this video go oh, you will like it push like uh subscribe and check out our website for the best ingredients around for your plant needs may god bless you